Functional test cases are what your test leads write in order to assign testing for functional requirements to others on the team. Think of a test case like a task. A functional test case assigns the testing of a function or feature in order to see if it produces the expected result. Are you ready to write functional test cases? You can take any app that you have on your phone right now and follow these steps. Start by including a description name of the function or feature, preconditions for being able to test it, the steps required to test it, and the expected results. So now, four steps. Determine what areas need to be covered. Talk with product leaders to learn more about the new updates or features being released and understand the depth and breadth of the testing required. If you don't have a product manager and if you just want to learn about writing a test case, then just think about from the end customer perspective, what do they care about? Then we are going to list all functions and features. I already mentioned earlier that you should build a mind map. Go from memory on what you know of the product, include the new features that have been described to you and also log in and just play around with the app to recall any additional functionality in those product areas. Now we're going to write each individual test case. Now it's time to write the test cases inside of your test management tool. You can even use Google spreadsheets to do that for learning purposes. And lastly, you gotta assign those test cases to testers. Find a friend who can execute your test case, see if they understand it. There is some strategy required when assigning test cases to testers. You don't want to do it at random otherwise. Testers will all have to be in different parts of the app instead of dividing and conquering. Plan your test cycles over at least two or three days so that you can study test coverage with fresh eyes.